What's going on? Connor Fields here, and I'm gonna teach you a little bit about the sport of BMX racing. We are here at Boulder BMX, where I started racing back in 1999, and I am standing right here on the starting line. This gate will come up, and up to eight riders will line up in the gate. The gate goes down, and the race begins. Where you start the race is determined completely randomly. After the gate goes down, the first thing that you'll see is the white line down there, and I'll show you what that means next. The start of a BMX race is all about strength and explosiveness as we are the engines for the bicycle. So you're launching into the race here and the first thing that you'll see is this white line here. This is the 30 foot line and you are not allowed to leave your lane for the first 30 feet. You've gotta go dead straight. Once you get across this line though, you can begin jockeying for positions with the other riders. Behind me, you'll see the lights. Those lights will flash when the gate is about to drop and tell you it's time to start the race. This is what BMX tracks are all about and why the kids love it, the jumps. Every track is gonna have a different layout, different size jumps, different shapes, and that's what makes it fun. No two tracks are the same. This jump that I'm on here is called a step up because the backside is taller than the front side, meaning that you step up. You also have singles, doubles, triples, tabletops, and all sorts of other ones. Another thing that every track has is a berm, a large turn. Many of them are asphalt because you can carry your speed better around the asphalt than you could if it was dirt. No two tracks are the same, but one thing that's the same everywhere you go is the first person across the finish line wins. If you thought this was cool, make sure you check out usabmx.com to learn more and find a track near you.